Whoa, what's up guys? Sid is here, come from the jungles. Actually, not really. Right now I'm just doing a little fun little video, hit up some thrift shops and things like that, so I can find me some VHS tapes or some cool retro toys or stuff for Halloween. And this is some random other stuff around town. I'm just gonna do a little fun, random, middle of the week kind of video. So let's get to going right now to a couple of thrift shops I had some luck at in the past. Hopefully the luck will transpire on me today and I'll get a couple of cool things. I don't know, we'll see. Let's go begin right now. First up here, I'm gonna hit a Veterans Thrift at that Converse Thrift next door. Might have been here a little while. These have some pretty cool retro toys at times. Been a little bit dry lately at this spot, but you know what? I'm gonna go check and see where they put out some neat, interesting Halloween stuff. Sometimes they, some of these thrift shops do that, so hopefully I'll find some cool old school Halloween goodies and maybe some horror movies and stuff out in the back. So let's go do that right now. Keep the fingers crossed. All right, so now I'm here by the toy area, but there's actually no toys. I had a feeling it might be kind of dry because last time I came in here, it was just nothing. I remember like a long while back, if you guys remember, I found um, some Swamp Thing toys and things like that up here. But nothing as of late. But I'm gonna go by the tape section. There's around the corner up here. Just a bunch of family fun home entertainment movies. Nothing I really want. Hopefully I might have some like maybe some horror ones since it's you know Halloween time coming up, something to put that stuff out. But it looks like it's just a bunch of Disney and like regular kind of common stuff. Bummer. I'm here by the Halloween stuff, there's like just some cups, things like that. Nothing too uh, major that I want. This is kind of cool, it's a little, little glass. It has like a mummy on it, but um, I'm probably gonna get it. If it's like a McDonald's thing, I'll probably totally with like a old school one, but I, think, I don't think it is. And you have just some odds and ends, nothing too interesting, like some okay stuff. Like this is kind of what this is, like a little little skull guy up here. There's like a couple of them actually. This one, there's like one up here too. It's like okay, like a little whatever thing, but I don't know if I'm gonna get it or not, but kind of neat. Some of you about the video games, seeing this over here in the fluffy gamers section. Uh, nothing too much I'm seeing. It looks like some Nintendo games, but it doesn't look like anything, anything that good. Some sports titles, that kind of thing. Double dribble, I believe. Yeah, that's about it. Double dribble, I mean, sorry. Double trouble. Double dribble. An Atari game. And that, nothing too crazy right here. All right, just left Veterans Thrift. Not, no luck in there, so it's kind of a bust. Sorry to show you that boring footage, but now off to Converse Thrift. Hopefully, some better luck in there. So now we enter the vicinity right here. Try to sound all proper, but anyway, here we go. Get some Halloween uh, masks and things like that. Nothing, uh, you know, nothing too crazy. Kind of cool, like a little funny, cheesy, whatever thing. Some paper plates, but I'm trying to find something cool and more retro than that. Um, let's see what we've got. Nothing, some records up here. Maybe I'll look, I'll look through there and see if they have anything good. Um, that's kind of cool. This little Death Becomes You tombstone. Can't really see it right up there. Looks like some of these DVDs right now. Not much for DVDs, but I did see some tapes. So, so let's go look through these tapes. Maybe I'll find something rad. Here's a Lost Boys one. Maybe I'll find something even cooler than that. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Whoa, man, dude. I found something really cool right now on videotape. I'm surprised it's even here. It's probably the coolest thing I found in this spot since for like probably two years. I found a couple of cool like you know uh, City Lights movies here like about two years ago. Um, but other than that, I found nothing. It's been kind of like whatever. I found a couple cool couple horror flicks here, but this is like the coolest horror looking flick I found here. I'll show you right here. No, it's not that. Nah, it's, it's not that. Nah, I'll show you at the end. Of the, I'll show you at the end when I leave this spot. It's it's freaking cool. It's like sushi. It's like super cheap. I think it's like a dollar or less. It's like what? Just passed up some DVDs and that kind of thing right now. And look at over here, it's like a popcorn maker. Like old school popcorn maker. Creators popcorn. It's like from my old carnival thing or something like that. Yo, look at all the grease of this bag. Look, look at that. It's just, just caked on all the grease and the grease of popcorn usage. My goodness, I think it's really old. It's kind of neat though, but man, it is beyond vintage. Oh man. Walking by, they still have these, all these like figurines, like the shadow. Five bucks a pop or two for it. They still have these here. <laughs> was this? Uh, get Sequest. I remember that show, Sequest. That was kind of a cool little one. And then you get some stuff like this. A whole bunch of like three of these guys. This Mongol warrior dude, bad guy. In the cabinet, they still have this game, the uh, Dark Tower game. It's like an early '80s wizard dragons type board game, and it's like it has batteries, so it's like. It looks like noise and stuff like that. Like, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what it is. I did a little bit of research on it, but it looks really cool. It comes this rad looking box. 
I think it's a hundred bucks. That's a pretty good deal for that, I believe. I think it goes for like 200, maybe more, I think. And it's complete, so it's one of those kind of ones like, if I really need it, no, but it's pretty cool. If I want to sell it, I can make double the money maybe on it. That's kind of a cool thing though. Check this out in the case, a sex swing up in here for $10. I like how they place the $10 tag right in the little area right over there. Very nicely done, very nicely done. Thrift shop must have at least one sex swing in it, this one does. Thumbs up, my friends. I did find something cool in there. I'm gonna show you guys right now what I got. Definitely stoked about finding this tape. I was like surprised that was even in there. So I'm gonna show you guys right now. All right, here we go. Da, 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 da. I found this there. Oh my goodness. The Possessed. It was kind of like that. I don't know what it was. And I saw the horror. I was like, what the hell's this? And I looked at it. And I was like, holy crap. Got this bad boy for like 50 cents over here. Like, what? Like, holy. Oh, that's insane, right? Look at that thing. It looks rad as hell. Look at that cover art. Badass. And check this out. It's an old Hollywood video rental from back in the day. The Possessed. I think it was actually called also, I think, Devil's Possessed. I don't know if that's true or not, but. How cool looking is this? This is like one of the coolest finds at a thrift shop I've ever found in a long time. It's been a good while, especially at this spot over here, because like they usually have like kind of crappy tapes. This one has an awesome tape like this. Like what? I'm like, what the hell? They're thinking of putting it out, but I'm like, thank you for putting this out. I like that a lot. And the coolness of it too, it's like an old Hollywood video for rental from back in the day. I've never seen this movie before. It looks pretty cool. Cover art looks awesome as hell. I'm stoked. Next up, here's go to the thrift shop, see if they have any cool tapes and what have you. They usually have some okay stuff sometimes. Let's go do it right now. Just gonna go over here, check out some of the movies now. See some of the DVDs. I always look over here before I look at the tapes, just to make sure like I don't miss something. It's out of print, or what have you. So that would really suck. Um, I was always looking for like Gleam in the Cube and stuff like that, even though it's like super hard to find in the movie Mikey. Uh, but they can never find those. So this one, Earth Girls Are Easy. It has Jeff Goldblum in this thing. And the Gina Davis and stuff. Before they did the fly together, they did this. Nice cheese ball footage of a movie right there. Now, let's go see out the tapey tapes. So we got over here, we got, uh, this is kind of cool. Good old Rambo First Blood Part 2, HBO Thorny MI. Rambo media spreading faster than the firestorm set by the heroes, explosive warheads, what? That's kind of cool. I love Rambo too. That's probably my favorite one of the Rambo series. It's probably Rambo 2. I remember watching this one a lot as a kid. Good stuff right there. Maybe I'll get that. That's kind of cool, actually. God, it was so weird. Like my camera did like a weird goof up. I'll put it in the video in case you see it like right now before this clip. It's like all like it was like going like weird like wavy motions like in different colors. It was really really weird. I'm like, what the heck? Like my 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 camera was uh, possessed right up here. It was, oh my god! I still got this up here. Judgment. I remember I've seen this. And um, I don't know, I just have to buy it. I do have it, but you know what? It's kind of sucks leaving us here alone. I might have to just buy this bad boy, you know, give it a good home. A great movie, you know. I'm surprised it's still here. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Love this movie. Great movie, good soundtrack. I like how the shirts are all color coded red, purple, green, blue, and then black. It's all nicely done. But anyway, back to the movies at hand to try to find some stuff. What do we get up here? Some DVDs. I looked at these earlier and I didn't see nothing much to get. Um, let's see, we got over here. What do we have? What do we have? What the heck is this? Year of the Beast. There's like the Iron Maiden stuff. That's also Number of the Beast. What's this? Looks like, look at this guy that covers crazy. What is this thing? Gospel films. I might be one of those like Christian movies, I think. Those kind of weird Christian ones. Yeah, it, yeah, it is. You can tell by reading the back of it right here. Video gospel films. This looks, this looks kind of weird, but probably like a post apocalyptic. You know, kind of weird thing like the Lord have mercy tapes. There's like a guy with a gun. This guy's scared and stuff. Maybe, maybe I'll get this. It's like probably some cheesy good crap right here. Oh my god, this looks, this looks pretty cheese ball. And what do we have next to this one right here? Are you going to heaven? This video will reveal the answer. Check it out. This guy's in a tightrope. Dramatic reenactments. 3D computer animation. Live interviews. What, what is this? I don't know. It's about 20 bucks back in the day. Ain't that now? But yeah, it was kind of weird, you know, Lord have mercy tapes. Maybe I'll get that too to go with this. Double feature, huh? There's some good gold up in here right now. Hollywood, Hollywood bloopers and censored. I think I'm okay not getting that. You have um, Aliens up there. Really good sequel. We got Ghostbusters. 
Good old classic Ghostbusters. I don't need this, but it's cool it's here. It always looks, always looks great, the cover and stuff. Good old Ghostbusters. Who you gonna call, huh? Of course the Ghostbusters, duh. Hey, here, oh, this is cool. The New Adventures of Pippi Longstocking. Great movie. I remember watching this a lot on HBO as a kid. I do. I did buy this like a couple years back, and the one I got is kind of a beat up edition of it. Maybe I'll, I'll get this. Is it tape inside? It is. It looks really clean too. Any mold? Any mold? No mold. This, this is a great. And the song. If you, if you watch this movie, the song gets stuck in your head. It's like the, uh, like the, the adventure, new adventure. It's like Pippi Longstocking. She's your friend to the end. You don't know now. The, the freckle face girl. It's like it's like a weird song, but it's pretty cool stuff of you know Pippi Longstocking. I might have to get that. That's pretty cool. Here you go. A nice bag of tapes up here. I'll show you what I got right now. And these were a dollar a pop. I ended up getting the new Adventures of Pippi Longstocking upgrade of my other one. Year of the Beast. Years of the Beast. Looks a little cheese ball. And of course, I'm gonna get judgment. I give this a home. Oh yes. Yeah, so now off to somewhere else. Next spot of the day. I'm going to a flippy gamer spot. A goodwill. This became like a thrifting video. I didn't plan on doing that, but I guess so. Thrifting for tapes, I guess. So here we are inside. It's like weird and tripped out like mask and this thing, like the the eyes and stuff. It's kinda cool. <laughs> Sparkling pumpkins. Put in two insane. That, that's kinda cool thing. Like Reaper. So I think the movies are over there. Let me go see. I looked over there and over here. The movies are over here. I don't see any tapes though. Like this is DVDs, which is still fine, but you know, I don't see any out of print ones. I don't think they do. But hey, you never know. There's nothing good with nothing in there. All kind of just like basic, kind of whatever. But anyway, let me just uh, give a little rundown of what I got today. I actually picked up one thing I ordered online, which is pretty rad. I'll show you guys right now what tape I got. It's pretty much been a VHS tape kind of day. I'll show you right now what I ordered online came in the mail yesterday. It was pretty cool, low budget, cool movie. One called Night Wars by David A. Pryor. He did Diddly Prey and like Killer Workout and stuff like that. Like a great cult movie director. Picked this up, got this for a good deal. I think I had it for like 15 bucks. Got starring Dan Haggerty in this bad boy scene right over there. Uh, pretty much like this movie is sort of like a Nightmare on Elm Street meets Jacob's Ladder. It's like these Vietnam soldiers have like these weird nightmares and then nightmares become real reality. And so trying to fight this force that keeps on like trying to attack and kill them. And whoever they're with it tries to uh, kill them too. It's like a weird action flick. It looks super low budget. It's not on, uh, I think it's like a bootleg of it on DVD, but no, like no official release. It's only on the video world. So if you want to do yourself a favor, check out on YouTube like some clips of it. It's hilariously bad. I've never seen it before. I cannot wait to check this out. Cover looks rad. So that does it for my video right there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Chris, pretty much a little random fun video. Pretty much thrifting for tapes kind of a thing. So I didn't think I was gonna do that, but it's gonna happen like that. Get some good tapes right there, you know, Judgment Night. Good classic already have, but I might as well get it again. Adventures of Pippi, the new Adventures of Pippi Longstocking. And that Lord Have Mercy tape, that's what pretty much I call those weird like Christian movies, kind of like cheese ball with like the years of the years of the demon or some crap like that, whatever it's called. And the best one so far though, was uh, the whole bunch I got for a while was The Possessed. Definitely stoked on getting that. That was super, super rad. Can't believe it. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. Make sure to so hit that notification button right there. Share this video around if you like. I'll catch you guys later on the next one. I'll see ya. Bye-bye.